Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do the next question of our agriculture optional answer writing practice. जो हमारी agriculture optional answer writing practice series चल रही है उसके next question को आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं. And today's question is briefly discuss IPM in cotton. IPM that is integrated pest management. So we have to briefly discuss integrated pest management in cotton. And this was asked in 2023 agriculture optional paper of UPSC civil services examination जो 2023 के agriculture optional paper थी UPSC civil services की वो इस मौसम में ये question पूछा जा चुका है so it questions this question become very important for us और जितने भी important crops हैं जब मैं तो बोलता हूँ जितने भी MSP वाले crops हैं specially जो MSP वाले crops से plus जो MSP में नहीं भी और five six अगर news में चल रहे हैं तो twenty five thirty crops को आप अच्छे से package और practice उसमें prepare कर लो prepare the package of practice of twenty five thirty crops which you think important include the crops you in MSP जो जो MSP में crop को उनको include करो और extra भी जो news में कुछ crops वगैरह चल रहे हैं तो you can add them और उसमें जितने भी चीजें हैं उसके कैसे production होता है क्या crop protection होता है PM होता है nutrient management होता है write everything in detail because it is very important. Every year UPSC is asking at least one to two questions relating to this. एक या दो क्वेश्चन हर साल क्रॉप्स से डायरेक्टली UPSC पूछती है. So you should be prepared for it. आप सब कोर्स के लिए प्रिपेयर्ड रहना होगा. So let's see how we approach today's question. कैसे हम लोग अप्रोच करते हैं आज के इस क्वेश्चन को. So we have to discuss integrated pest management in cotton. So what is integrated pest management? We all know. We are, we are, here we are integrating various management techniques such as biological control, biological control, chemical control, we are integrating some cultural practices, management, monitoring, another thing, okay, monitoring, record keeping, everything. Everything we can do for our pests, do for management of pests, we are including here. And this is termed as biological pest management. इसी को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं? Biological pest. Sorry, इसी को क्या बोलते हैं? Integrated pest management, not biological pest management. इसी को हम लोग बोलते हैं integrated pest management. We are combining everything for the pest management. That is biological practices, chemical practices, cultural practices, monitoring, record keeping, everything. So I hope you understand. What is integrated pest management? और हम लोग देखेंगे किस तरह से हम लोग cotton में ये कर सकते हैं IPM in cotton. So this is the body of the question. So first of all we can do biological control. Biological control that is introduction of natural predators. Either you can use natural predators. You can use parasites. Etc to control the uh, pests. For example, in cotton we can use natural predators such as ladybugs. We can use parasites, we can use wasps for the control of pests. And these can be very much helpful in controlling the major pests of cotton that is ball worms that affect cotton balls and aphids. Many times these aphids are been ni nicely controlled by beetles which are natural producers. Beetles are uh, very helpful in controlling these aphids. So this is what biological control is. Where are you using biological enemies or you can say biological predators, biological parasites, parasites which can feed on these pests. Okay. So this is biological control. Second we can use cultural practices. There are different cultural practices such as crop rotation. We can plant trap crops. So these things we can do to disrupt pest cycles. What happens? The trap crop, what is trap crop? Suppose there is a pest, so there is a ball of ball worm and it is feeding on cotton balls. So you are using some a trap crop which traps this pest. Instead of going to ball worm, this is more attracted to this crop. And it infects that crop and the, this cotton ball worm is cotton ball is saved. 
सो दिस इज व्हाट वी कैन डू इन ट्रैप क्रॉप्स क्रॉप रोटेशन वी नीड टू रोटेट आवर क्रॉप्स क्या होगा जैसे कि मान के लो वी आर यूजिंग कॉटन कॉटन के साथ वी विल रोटेट विद अदर क्रॉप्स तो इससे क्या होगा एवरी क्रॉप हैज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेस्ट्स सो इफ वी आर ओनली प्लांटिंग कॉटन एंड कॉटन एंड कॉटन सो दिस पेस्ट गेट very nicely established in the conditions but when you keep changing the crops this paste will the uh, the changing conditions will not uh, not let this paste to adapt to the environment and here we can uh, protect our crops from the pests so this is we can what we can do for example in culture practice we can plant marigold alongside cotton if we plant marigold with cotton it this marigold will help against to deter nematodes the nematodes which can affect cotton so here marigold is used as trap crop and this nematodes are going towards marigold and the cotton is saved so this is what and what we can do in cultural practices next we can use resistant varieties let me and we all know the most common resistant varieties is bt cotton So what BT cotton does when the ball worm feeds it is again for the protection of ball from the protection from ball worm. So when ball ball worm attacks to the cotton and eats it, the gut of ball worm gets holes. ठीक है? There is holes in the gut of ball worm. ये ball worm का जो भी पेट है उसमें छेद हो जाते हैं and the gut uh, and the ball worm dies. So this way when you use BT cottons, the it is protect it protects cotton from the ball worms. So it is a variety, the resistant varieties. so what resistant varieties do first of all they protect from the uh, ball worms and secondly when you use these resistant varieties the use of chemicals is reduced very much reduced because the pest suret directly not attack the varieties and we don't need some other chemicals to uh, use uh, use other chemicals to protect from these pests so here the use of chemicals is very much decreased and our crop is also protected so bt cotton is a very good example of resistant varieties next moving to we can use chemicals there are some common examples such as malathion glyphosate so these are some common pesticides which we can use but we should always keep in mind that we have to use these chemicals judiciously that is judicious use or you can say sustainable use because using too much of chemical is not good for our environment so generally in ipm we keep chemicals for the last resort when this cultural and uh, biological practices and do not work properly then we go to this chemical practices as a last resort to fight the pests to kill the pests and protect our crops so this is what chemical practices we can do we can do monitoring we can do record keeping do field inspections visit our fields in regular intervals to inspect the uh, population of pest if the pest population is growing too much that it will provide us damage then we will control the pest uh, through different methods for example we can use pheromone traps it also helps in controlling ball worm and it monitors the activity of ball worm if you see lot of ball worm uh, in pheromon traps so you can uh, guess that there is so much of pest in the field and you can use other methods for protection for protection of the crops so these these are the things we can do for integrated pest management in cotton ye sab common things hai jo hum log kar sakte hain cotton mein pest management ke liye aur i hope aapko sare cheez acche se samajh mein aa gayi hogi jo bhi cheeze maine batayi kis tarah se aap usko control kar sakte hain ठीक है पता है बायोलॉजिकल हो कल्चरल हो केमिकल हो यू कैन यूज रेसिस्टेंट वैरायटीज सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग दैट इज ऑल फॉर टुडे प्लीज डू लाइक प्लीज डू शेयर एंड प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क टू मेक सच वीडियोस फॉर यू ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस रेगुलर बेसिस पे से वीडियोस आप सबके लिए बनाने के लिए काफी हार्ड वर्क लगता है एंड इफ यू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इट मोटिवेट्स अस टू मेक मोर सच वीडियोस फॉर यू रेगुलरली अगर आप लाइक करते हो शेयर करते हो सब्सक्राइब करते हो तो काफी मोटिवेशन मिलता है हमें कि और भी ऐसे वीडियोस आप सबके लिए रेगुलरली बना पाए सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर टुडे हैव अ नाइस डे थैंक यू